We can go for a walk. That sentence will make any dog wag their tail, and so, Tanner is no exception. We head down to the park almost twice a day. Tanner and his human Julie have an off-leash dog park just around the corner. I don't even know the owner's names. We just know the names of the dogs. But Tanner is staying on his leash today. Yeah, Tanner was hit by a bike on Tuesday and snapped his front leg in half. He's got 10 stitches and a metal plate inside his leg. The biker who hit him did stop and helped carry Tanner home. It's dangerous and bikes are coming down here super, super fast and they don't have the opportunity to stop. And Julie thinks a simple sign might have prevented this. There's one on the neighborhood side of the Lakewood Dog Park, but on the Alameda side, nothing. And if you're coming down from the top of the hill, the only sign indicating that it's an off-leash park is this sign that's right here. Julie says bikers coming down Green Mountain will cross Alameda into the park, not knowing there could be dogs running around in the grass. D dogs should be able to be dogs in dog parks, you know? And the city agrees with Julie. They found out about this issue today. A spokesperson with the city told me they plan on putting a sign up on the Alameda side as fast as they can. And city staff and city councilors plan to talk tomorrow about how to keep bikers from cutting through that area because it is not part of the official bike trail system.